Looking for True Game Heads, and I'm here with Patrick, creative director of WET, and he's going to give us the lowdown on this hot new action game. WET is really about like acrobatic shooting. Uh, we call it an acrobatic shooter. We, we want the kind of energy and, and feeling of, of fights like, uh, you know, Kill Bill, Crazy 88, you know, lots of guys really shooting, uh, uh, going in the air, bouncing off the walls, like crazy kind of action. We're mixing a shooting, sword, and acrobatics all into one tight combat system. Really fluid, fluid action. You don't have to interrupt anything. You can go from one thing to the next. Uh, you can wall run, bounce off, shoot in the air, twist 360 degrees, land on your knees, continue shooting, rise with the sword, slash up the guys, uh, and really do uh, really nice chain kills. Looking at the game, I see it has this this nice like grain grainy effect like reminiscent of like the 70s grindhouse what was some of your inspiration for making the game like that yeah the idea behind this thought is really to capture the, the, the flavor of that you in terms of the universe where we're going for the whole 70s action movie we really wanted to to get this flavor of uh, the ironic mix of humor and violence you know it allowed us to be really creative some cliches and stuff you know and then uh, some, some of, in some of the characters the storyline the whole film grain the projector effect uh, it's really a, a universe that we can have a lot of fun in not take ourselves too seriously and really push it over the top you know in every aspect she has like a sick arsenal move can you tell us a little bit about some of those moves uh ruby's like really really acrobatic so so she can she can dive in the air slide on the ground uh wall run she can shoot while going down ladders or going down zip lines even going uh, you know on, on a pole she hangs by one hand and she shoots with the other so you never have to interrupt the flow of your action uh and the sword can uh yeah, can be uh, mixed in there as well you know so from her knees or from the wall she can interrupt and dive forward and use the sword uh and, and pull off all these these crazy moves in one continuous chain of movement so it seems like you got a crazy arsenal at your disposal now one of the things i saw in this in the uh, demo was a, a mode where it seemed like the characters was all black and then the, everything else was red. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we have a mode ca called Rage Mode uh, and it's really like Ruby getting sprayed with blood and just like losing it, snapping it. It's kind of like a, a little adrenaline rush for players so they, they can just let loose. Uh, they're moving faster, they're inflicting more damage and you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, their health is regening so they're not invincible but they're like really, really powerful and they can just, you know, bulldoze their way through enemies and it's this really stylish stylized look to it like you said uh, and it's really the idea of like blending the style into the gameplay so they can there are different moments like that and we use it for uh changing the base on players a little bit and, you know like the old uh, bonus rounds and the old school the uh, action games you know that's that's the kind of feeling that we're going for um from the demo i saw that she has a katana blade and then two two uh, revolvers does she have any other weapons that'll be at her disposal? Yeah, throughout the game, you, you get to unlock some of her other weapons. So she, she gets like dual shotguns at one point, then dual submachine guns, and eventually she gets like dual crossbows to shoot like the, the explosive arrows, you know, like the old Dukes of Hazard style yeah. explosions, you know, so nice. with, with area damage. Uh, and, and as well, like what you're doing, is like, it's kind of like this modern take on the old school action genre. So, so it's all about points and stuff, but what we do with the points is we use them as currency. So you can actually like unlock some of her moves as you go through the adventure. Uh, or upgrade some of these weapons that I was talking about so they inflict even more damage or firing rate or distance. Uh, so the more the more you combine and the more uh, spectacular you are pulling off headshots and, and stuff like that, then the more points you're, you're doing and the more you can upgrade uh, her stuff. What would you say is about the average length for the game? And it's really action-packed, so we're looking at something like 8 to 10 hours. But that's the idea. Like Once you start mastering everything, you can really read the environment. You know where to go. You know how to exploit all her moves and, and use the split targeting. Because like once she takes to the air, you know you start shooting. It's automatic slow motion. But one arm is automatically locks onto the enemy. And then with the other arm, you can pull off a headshot. You control it manually. So the better you get, the more used to it you get, and the more crazy stuff that you, you can pull off. So so that just once you're finished playing, you want to yeah. try it again. See like how high you can get your score and uh, how much uh, damage you can inflict. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely... That that sounds definitely like something that people want to do, so it sounds cool. So when can we expect the release date? It's coming out this fall for both uh, PS3 and 360. Oh, nice. Well, the game is definitely looking tight, and I'm looking forward to playing it. I'm sure a lot of gamers out there looking forward to it, too.